Hey, Tamara here. This episode of The Testing Ground Floor is brought to you by our good friends over at the Colorado Maker Hub. They are the place for inventors and garage tinkers of all kinds. We love what they do. Please go check them out. Now, we are outside in the park today because we're testing out Super Rope Cinch. And this little gadget was invented by Tim Burke. And he invented it because he was frustrated at not being able to tie a good enough knot to be able to haul and pull and carry things. Do you know that feeling where you tie a knot and you're just kind of really ho hoping that the hammock stays or that the luggage stays on the rack of the car? Well, Tim noticed that he wasn't alone and he wanted to solve this problem of being able to, to have the strength of a good knot without actually having the skill. So I'm gonna gather all my materials and I will meet you back on the testing ground floor. All right, here we are on the testing ground floor and I've got all my materials. Now, as you may recall, Timber created Super Rope Cinch for people like me and most of the people I know who don't know how to tie a knot. And if you asked me to tie one, mine would look like something that a second grader uh, put together. And that is probably not safe enough to pull or carry anything. So we're gonna test out Super Rope Cinch in a variety of ways. We want to see um, what rope sizes go into it. On the box it says from 1 8 to 5 8, so we got a variety of sizes here. We want to see how easy it is for the rope to go in. We want to see how easy it is to actually really tighten it up and how easy it is to get it out after you've actually applied force or pressure to it, basically after you've used it. We've got a drop test because we want to see also how it holds up under extreme force. So we're going to drop that sucker from the tree. and. We're gonna throw it some luggage on my car against these ratchet straps and see if Super Rope Cinch is easier, better, faster than doing it this way. All right, let's start with the first test. So we wanna see rope sizes. So we're gonna start with a small one. Throw them in. All right, pretty easy to get through. Okay, tighten it up. Okay, it works pretty well. This one moves just a little bit. That's the smaller rope. Yeah, but it goes in there pretty easily. Okay, let's try the second size. Actually, this is the smaller one. This is the really small one. Okay, tighten it up. Oh, that actually works pretty well. <laughs> Pulling pretty hard, I can't get it out. There you go. Okay, this is the larger rope. Okay, so I think for this one, it's probably easier to do it one at a time to get it through. There we go, okay. Okay, this is probably the size rope most of us would probably use too. This is what we use for most of our tests as well. Oh, I'm breaking the sweat. All right, there you go. That is super rope cinch for test one, getting it in. Let's go to our drop test. Okay, we're set up for our drop test. So I've got uh, about a 31 pound kettlebell rigged up to the super rope cinch up a rope. And as you can see, the rope is actually um, flung over a tree branch here. So we are gonna try to drop it. Now, I know this is more dynamic force than you would probably have in your everyday use for super rope cinch, but we really wanted to put it to the test. We wanted to see if the rope slid out with that much force, and we want to make sure that the gadget itself actually doesn't break and holds up well under this type of uh, force. So I'm going to grab that kettlebell and let's drop it and see what happens. All right, I'm going to climb up my ladder. So graceful. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. That is heavy. All right, here we go. I'm gonna drop it, ready? All right, well, let's see. Okay, so um, I don't think it moved. It's a little hard to tell because I didn't mark it, but it's all still intact. It worked, the kettlebell's still hanging where we started with. And let's see, it's super rope cinch. Nope, looks completely intact, which is what we were really concerned about with breakage. So I'd say that it passed our drop test. Now the question is, of course, because the whole point of the super rope cinch is to not have to know, a tie, know how to tie a knot. So can I get it out easily after I've been hauling or pulling something with it? So let's go ahead and try that. I'm gonna set this down. So you're supposed to press and release. Yep, I'd say that was pretty easy. That was the drop test. Doing that drop test got us a little curious. 
you saw how easy it was to get the rope out of Super Rope Cinch after we dropped the kettlebell. So we were wondering if we actually knew how to tie a knot, if um, after we dropped it and applied force to it, if actually it would be easy to get out or not. So this is your standard figure eight knot. Now I had to have Chris, who's behind the camera, actually do this knot because as you know, I have zero knot skills. But this is your standard knot. It's used a lot in rock climbing, I think maybe in sailing. But either way, the point is it tightens on itself, so it should hold up. So why don't we drop the kettlebell and let's see if getting the knot undone is as easy as using the super rope cinch. All right, here goes. Woo! All right, get my workout in. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna drop it. Woo! All right, so now let's see if I can get this rope undone. All right. <laughs> it's a little tight on itself. So the good news is Chris knows how to tie it now. Um, is that what your mother tells you never to do? Okay. Hold on. I got it. <laughs> okay. Whew. I think it is fair to say that using the super rope, I'm not even sure what I've done here. Okay, using the super rope cinch is a little easier after the fact as well. All right, here we are on top of my car to do the final test for super rope cinch. We're gonna see if it can hold the luggage if I go on a drive and how it does compared to the ratchet straps, which is what I think a lot of people use to hold down luggage. So, okay, let's start with the ratchet strap. So this, I think this has to be pointing up is what I was told. Push it through. Okay, we're gonna do that. Oh, whoops. Okay, that has to stay in place. I put it now on the other side. Maybe it's more of a two-person job. Okay, now I have to pull this lever up and then start ratcheting. Okay. Oh, I should probably let go. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, that is going down about nice and tight. Okay, a little bit of effort. I definitely had to be shown what to do um, off camera, how it works before I got here. Um, but I will say, nothing's moving. All right, so let's undo it. Let's see, let's see if I can get this part now. I think I have to hold, pull this up again, right? All right, I did it. All right, let's check out Super Rope Cinch and see how that does now with the luggage. Okay. All right, well, definitely a little bit easier, just putting the rope through. No problem there, we know what to do, right? Okay, so definitely a little bit harder to get tight, but the ease is good. Okay, so that's definitely holding. So a lot easier than the ratchet, but I think moving around a little bit. So if I'm gonna go on a road trip, I think I want a couple of these to keep my luggage on top. And that is Super Rope Cinch on the testing ground floor. If you want to be a part of what we do here, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Shoop TV, and join us at theshoop.com.